Sports and more sports in the One Mic Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of the One Mic Show Sports segment. Well, today we are starting off by talking about uh, the MLS draft. So yesterday night, uh, the MLS uh, conducted its uh, annual uh, draft where they pick up uh, players from the crop of the of the college uh, of the college talent, and three Kenyans uh, were managed to scoop up. Philip Mayaka was picked up for the third round uh, by the Colorado Rapids. Uh, he is a very talented, diminutive midfielder whose journey started out in the slums of Kenya before coming in uh, uh, coming into the country through the SEMA Academy. Uh, if you uh, uh, follow sports, you'll know that the SEMA Academy is famous for uh, talents like Joel Embiid and uh, most NBA African talents. So Mayaka was picked up by the Rapids at at, uh, at pick number three. At pick number 18, Nabilai Kibunguti, a tall de- uh, towering defensive midfielder, was picked up by uh, Minnesota United. Uh, Kibunguti, who is uh, known for his prowess in the, in the air and his strength and power, and uh, is also a national supporter, uh, comes in at pick number 18 uh, in a position that Minnesota were looking to fill up. Remember, Minnesota is the same team where Kenyan defender Lawrence Olum played for last year. So this is not their first time dealing with a Kenyan player. Uh, Leroy uh, and Zumbusi was also picked up by, by Nashville SC. And uh, he was picked up in round number 32. So we, we, we are seeing here that... Uh, we already have Victor Wanyama in the MLS. Uh, Olum, who is not playing this year, was already in the MLS. And we have Mombasa Bon, uh, I think his name is Abdi, who plays for Minnesota. So that makes us have four players in the MLS. So my first question will come to you and Mike, uh, where uh, you are a soccer, I would call you a soccer parent uh, by, by the fact that uh, you have been involved in your, even in your nephew's journey in soccer up to now where uh, he plays uh, for the University of Maryland. So, uh, Uno, how does, that, this, how does this draft make you feel as a parent? And what would you tell other parents, parents and encourage other parents in terms of allowing their kids to continue following their soccer dream? I think um, this... It has, it has, it has actually really uh, uh, made me very happy that uh, we can actually see that fruits are bearing. You know, we we, ne- we don't see that, we don't hear that much of Kenyan kids uh, playing soccer, getting drafted. What even playing soccer, getting drafted? So you're talking about MLS, you know, the fourth most popular sport uh, in America, mm-hmm. right? But now you hear, and they have the MLS draft. And in the f- in 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 the in the draft itself, three Kenyans are picked, three Kenyan kids, and now that makes that you know I think and we go back to when we were having like the Tomonyama tournament and we were encouraging parents that it's, it's it's okay to have your kid involved in sports, yes, because it's also a pathway, you know. There's education part, but in addition to education, if the kid loves playing soccer. If the kid loves playing basketball, support. Because you do not know what doors it can open. Mm -hmm. It's going to open doors, you know, because the kid plays, he can become a physiotherapist, he can be a sports agent, he can be be a a coach, whatever it is. But it's going to open something. And it actually, it actually proves a, it becomes, it becomes one of those points, it becomes one of those points where other kids can can see like okay we I can see one of my own I can see okay this guy oh he's a Kenyan Kenyan parents immigrated or he came from Kenya he was he was he was scouted and it it gives the kid even now like you know what let me become like uh, Nabil N- Nabi or let me get uh, Philip or Ezungus let me let me let me let me become their fan you know let me become their fan so this is very very good and it is also very very important for us in the Kenyan communities, because we can probably now start, you know, maybe following the MLS, supporting our children. Oh, and by the way, the third kid is also a national uh, fan. 
back to you Mika <laughs> and you know uh glad for you talking about uh, supporting the MLS so this one ties up to my question to Ali um now with the three drafts and adding on to the two already existing players that we have in the NFL we find that we have five Kenyan play- five players of Kenyan descent in the MLS and that involves the Arambe South national uh national team captain Victor Wanyama is it time that Kenyans both here and home started paying more attention to the MLS and the league and following it we know we do follow uh the EPL and uh, other major european leagues but uh clearly now the NFL is uh, is among the league the league that has more uh Kenyan players than any other league in the world is it time that we should start paying more attention to the MLS you know mika absolutely you know i've always been a big fan of us soccer you know like even all these times when people you know laugh at me there's something interesting which is your team that i saw i'm a disunited guy okay yeah all i'm right. a disunited i'm and a you, local guy too and, and you know when i was new you know like when i was new in the us you know like back in the years of 2004 2005 that's when disunited was winning titles you know mm. and and yes, that's yes. At, at that time that's the only soccer that we could watch here on tv because mm. premier league na nini liko jengi on american tv mm. at that time so you know like I, I, the reason why i was always a big fan of american soccer is that i you know like I, i was always asking myself the us is a team that has always qualified for the world cup but people were always like making fun about us soccer and when i watched you know like uh, this united play i could see these were players who were actually uh doing well mm. now uh, back to mika's question uh this is a big deal you know let's let's not even we can't even quantify this no we can't yes this is this is a very big deal and you know like we are starting to see the fruits this academy where you know like um some of these kids came from is an academy that mika you know like just on mika's earlier reporting it produced in sports it produced the likes of joel embiid in the ben NBA. simons so, those guys so it's it's an academy mm. that's known for producing sports stars the recruiters went all the way to kenya meaning they something they knew that they felt a lot of people had not seen because these recruiters they, they don't just you know like uh, decide to go anywhere mm. they specifically went to kenya and and there's still a num- there's a number of other kenyan kids in that academy now these three are just the ones who've been uh who who've been drafted into the MLS so the, we we are bearing fruit and it's very important now for any young kenyan soccer player and any any person running a soccer program for young kenyans in kenya to start paying attention to major league soccer let me say this before mika before before you say something lawrence babahanya mhm actually was the one who he keeps on prodding me and saying boss you know today is the MLS draft now i follow it because there are some members of the of the Maryland Taps team set of twins that were drafted also and and to be clear you know babahanya is also a soccer dad he's a soccer dad he has a son who's uh yeah. playing for the university of maryland yes that's him so mm-hmm. so i'm always i'm always now interacting watching and and start, started following i learned about philip the the 2019 2018 2019 uh 2019 season okay uh before before covid because i went you know like hey by the way you tell me there's this kid philip bayaka oh my goodness that kid is on point is on when he was playing for when he was oh, is, is clemson? Well, clemson clemson yeah. tigers mm-hmm. so that was the f- uh, the first season that isaac uh, isaac participated in because the second uh, this last year because of covid mm-hmm. the season was sort of canceled yeah but babahanya has been huko boss draft let's go okay hey there are three kenyans you know what these are the other and it's like it's like he's a statistician it's like he's a he's a he's a he's a commentator about it so i'm giving him props and i'm giving giving him shout out and he's listening to the show but go back to you mika now now before before you go back to mika but mm. back to babahanya being a fan and babahanya you know is a soccer dad you are a soccer dad but now to all other kenyans mm-hmm. you know like this kids of course they're already in the mls yes colorado I know there's Kenyans in that city uh-huh. in that state. Sergon, Minnesota. I know there's a lot of Kenyans wengi, uh, wengi sana. Akina Ilhan, uh-huh. in that state and then uh Nashville. Nashville. Tennessee. I am sure there are Kenyans in Tennessee. Yes. So 
just go check your calendars, check the schedules. Now, this is when once people are allowed to go back to mm-hmm. the stadiums. I, I, I don't know where MLS is with that right now. Mm. Once people are allowed to go to the stadium, let's make sure that we go and watch their games. Or you can just go to the Twitter hand, social media handles of these teams. Support those, ki- uh, those kids. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and another thing that we also need to make use of Babahanya because Babahanya, of course, even knows the pipeline. These, these kids are already in the MLS, but mm. Babahanya knows the pipeline of the other kids who are coming up. Uh, he can, you know, like... He knows them. This, ki- this guy yes. is like he, he, Big Ten, uh, the Pac-12. Mm-hmm. When it comes to NCAA, men's soccer... Mm-hmm. It's like because one thing that I see mm. with a lot of uh, kids who are good in sports here, their families, their families attend their games. That's very important for these kids. Not, mm-hmm. not, not even not, not talking of MLS. Mm. We're talking even high school, yeah. college. Mm. It's very important. Yeah. The parents, the families, the friends. It's a very big deal. It motivates them a lot. When uh, when uh, uh, Kibunguchi was being drafted, or when his name was called, yes. so they 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 show they showed a a, a shot, mm-hmm. you know. So I mean, I guess they had to set, set it up in the in the house. Yes, the Kenyan flag was in the background on the I wall. I know, I saw that. Okay, and I was like oh, it's far more there, yeah. and I'm like, my yes. goodness, mm-hmm. you cannot not appreciate and love that. Yes, and, and you know exactly, and of course there's there's of course. Uh, Victor Anyamo is uh-huh. in the MLS playing for Montreal. Uh-huh. And then there's Lawrence. Lawrence is no longer in the MLS, but he was... Lawrence think, Olum, yeah. yeah. I think he was the first Kenyan to... Uh, that to, I know to, of, to, yes. To join, the, to join the MLS. And then there's, and then that there's kid, Anwala uh, Buana. Uh-huh. I, I, I can't remember what team he's playing for. Mombasa Bon, also in the MLS. I think he's in Minnesota also. He, he plays for Seattle. For Seattle? Uh, okay. okay. All right. Sounders, yeah. okay. All right, Mika, back to you. Back to you. Okay, so uh, my question now, this one goes to Omosh. Omosh, you can see mic kama atanabulia. Omosh, uh, yeah, I, th- I think I'm going mic yake hapo. I'm going to mic hapo, you're going to have a career. So, Ali. Okay, so Omosh, my, my question goes to you. Uh, so, we've seen, uh, we saw the draft, we saw how the draft goes by. Uh, but there has been a continuous discussion about uh, at the MLF, if it should stick to the draft system like other play, other teams or should it pull the mo- the model for <coughs> for you for other 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 formats like in Europe whereby instead of the draft system we just go to an open transfer where you can buy the kids from the the kids can be bought from uh, more of an academy pool and the money goes to the academies that help uh, nurture that talent so <coughs> Omosh, what do you think? Should we stick the draft system in terms of soccer, of soccer in America, or should it adapt and go to the most to the more universal universal system when it comes to bridging in the young talent? Um, from my opinion, I think they need to use a hybrid, and the reason why I say a hybrid system is that you know the draft. Uh, basically, the draft uh, is geared towards you know the the way America does sports selections, they do it via a draft. And that's why they're using the draft. However, having the system in place where you're also recognizing, you know, the academies or pulling money back to uh, the home teams or the home ground that, you know, nurtured talent would help the soccer pool within the country long term. So uh, it just goes naturally to say that if there's a way to put money back into that system, and take it from, you know, the teams that are willing to uh, pay for it at a professional level, then it definitely would make sense to do that. But I think uh, the pull of a draft within America and the way America is set up, it's what people are used to. I think that still will work. So it's possible to set up a hybrid system where, you know, the academy uh, or, or where the homegrown team, where this, you know, talent came from, uh, would still get some money so that they in turn can also nurture other talent. Back to you, Mika. Uh, Mika, before before you say before you uh, chime in, uh, Buana moved from Seattle to Minnesota. Uh, that's from Lawrence and uh, Louis C. Muya says David Kenga was the first. Uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, oh, okay. David Kenga was the All first. Right. Th- then thank you, thank you for thank you for correcting. Uh, Olu- uh, it was not Olum. Uh, back to you, Mika. Okay, thanks for that correction, Lawrence. 